Tonight, we have breaking news out of Prince George's County, Maryland that's very disturbing. This afternoon, it has been requested of the State Secretary of Children's Services, the Maryland Department of Children's Services Secretary, Lourdes Padilla, that she intervene urgently for what the filing at the uh, Office of Children's Services in Baltimore calls an urgent request for corrective intervention by the state of Maryland and investigation in light of an abdication of responsibilities within the Prince George's County Department of Health Services. Minor child's parents have documented a report of abuse and exploitation. Evidently, a black boy has been taken from allegedly illegally a black home. A mother and father in Prince George's County, Maryland report that their son, their minor child, has been taken from their home and placed into custody with a single woman in an apartment. It is a nuclear family. Uh, I am protecting the identity of these whistleblowers who have filed this afternoon. Uh, and I am pleased that they have endorsed me to blow the whistle. I am not a Maryland attorney. I'm a federal due process constitutional law and civil rights attorney, but I am pleased to be reporting tonight on this because it's a an exceedingly disturbing circumstance. WBGR uh, culture class and consciousness has obtained the underlying complaint that was issued that says that Child Protective Services uh, came to the home of the family in Prince George's County and removed the child who did not want to go and that the child has been out of his home for nearly a year in foster care, so to speak. Evidently, there's a forced sex change operation pending. Uh, Kaiser Permanente has been contacted and their doctor uh, uh, has been approached about why it is that a boy who said he did not want to be a girl has been taken from his home. His mother and father, Air Force veterans, um, this boy was a Bible B champion. Um, in a Christian home who is being changed over. Uh, so the Honorable Lourdes Padilla has been asked to investigate who's behind this and why. Uh, it has also implicated the National Children's Medical Center in Washington, D.C., where named persons have been uh, targeted for review at the D.C. Office of Human Rights. Uh, and that complaint is here dated August 15th. 2022, um, and the uh, director of that office, interim director Hanin Kang, is being asked to intervene. The allegation is that the hospital center took the boy and demanded that certain Bible verses not be read in the home. This was a Bible Bowl champion boy, minor child, and a nuclear family and parents, black man, black woman. Uh, and they were not even aware that there was a so-called gender issue. This was a child who uh, said he did not want to go to Child Protective Services. He did not want to be a girl. And Washington Hospital Center left him there for uh, weeks until Child Protective Services of Maryland took the child because of a refusal to follow the religious impositions that the hospital allegedly was making on this black Christian family. The family is in litigation now. Uh, as I said, my law firm has been approached for the federal constitutional issues. There's no lawsuit filed uh, at the moment, but there are complaints. And so this family is urgently calling to the attention of all in Prince George's County in Maryland that this could happen to you, that your child, a boy, can be taken away for a year from your safe, supportive home uh, with wonderful counseling. Um, Washington Children's Hospital, uh, uh, Dr. Zlotkin is here allegedly involved in reporting both the family and the counselor in Virginia. And so we have a very serious concern of the freedom of parents and families and of children themselves who have said they do not want to change genders being placed at their Kaiser Permanente doctors and so forth. Of course, Kaiser Permanente does gender reassignment with kids in Oakland, California. You can read that in several news reports. Um, 
If you want to know more about this, you can go to StopCPSSexChanges.org. That's www.StopCPSSexChanges.org. There will be more details on that site in the morning. I am investigating this. We are looking into this. There must be some misunderstanding in the state of Maryland. And uh, the residents that have called and reported to me what's going on have asked that uh, Governor Hogan get involved and that Wes Moore, who will probably be the next governor, come out on this issue and explain why it is that the state takes a boy a black Christian boy who does not want to be a girl, removes him from the home. There's video footage of this uh, at www.stopcpssexchanges.org and forces a sex conversion. It's a state-sponsored conversion therapy, according to the Office of Human Rights report. The D.C. Office of Human Rights was meeting with the family and canceled the meeting five minutes before it was to begin uh, earlier this month. They are not explaining why the religious discrimination complaint lodged against Washington Hospital, uh, excuse me, Children's National Medical Center, has uh, why that, uh, that August 15th complaint has not been processed, of course. We have had to go to the city council, the D.C. council, twice on the Office of Human Rights for their serial failures to process meaningful complaints. That office stays in trouble with the city council. We're going to open the phone lines tonight, and we want you to know that you're free to call into the network and uh, voice your concerns, ask questions, 301-429-9247, 301-429-9247. But it's a very concerning set of allegations here. Uh, a wholesome nuclear family grows in Prince George's County. Point two, the child had accelerated academics, evidently entering college at an extremely young age. Um, and um, more. We have a caller, WBGR Internet Gospel Radio, you're live on the air. Attorney Jones, this is in the pit of hell. Thank you so much for bringing this to public attention. I had not heard, I, I'm a local pastor here in Maryland, and what's going on in this case is beneath the dignity of anyone. Uh, I would like to get some of my fellow pastors together and see how we can assist you in addressing this. It's downright evil. Uh, what sort of, of, of help do you need or, or how are you proceeding with this in terms of advocacy. Thank you, Pastor. Stay with me. The question is from a pastor in the region who's seeking to organize ministers. Well, I want us to first understand, how did this happen? According to the complaint, there was a first encounter with Child Protective Services on June 4th, 2021, when an Edwina Nimley showed up at this family's front door and was accused of beating their son due to sexual orientation. And that's strange because this boy was always dreaming of marrying a girl all the time. And so then there was the aborted abduction, allegedly. There was online sex predator contact by adults found by the police who had sought to convert this boy into this new life as a girl. And so Pastor... It starts evidently very deep on the internet. I believe we have another call. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. WBGR Radio, you're live on the line. We have feedback. If you could turn your radio down, please. I'm sorry, we have too much feedback. I'll answer the pastor's question further. For those who would like to organize, you can contact uh, Direct Action Ministries at www.directaction.church. www.directaction.church. That's a ministry that I run, and I will connect you to this distressed family that has had this boy snatched, and the state-sponsored conversion therapy of the states has begun, barring Bible passages and telling the family, according to this D.C. Human Rights 
office complaint that they cannot have their son back unless they agree to redact their Bible. That's what we're facing in this region. WBGR Gospel Radio, you're on the line. Good evening. Is this Attorney Jones? Yes, good evening. Uh, I'm very upset. I've been watching this. And are you telling me that as a Christian woman, if I have a Christian son, which I, I have a grandchild, and I'm educating him on serving the Lord, and that somebody can just come into my home and take my child away from me? Well, ma'am, stay and, with me. And make them go through a sex change that they don't want? Evidently, forced sex changes and hormone therapy are the law now in Prince George's County because that's exactly why this family has been put up on charges and is in the midst of hearings in Prince George's County. I do not represent them there. There are two other attorneys. The state made the husband and wife parents of other children. They made them come with separate attorneys. They separated them. There's no dispute. This is a harmonious Christian black family. And so evidently, yes, you can have your child forced against his will and yours too. There are no parental rights and evidently there aren't any real child protections. I don't understand where they get the P, the protective part of child protective services. And this is dangerous stuff. I mean, pumping a boy with hormones to be a girl, whether they be what they call puberty blockers, if you're the kind of family that wants to do that, you're free to do that. Just like you can rear your child however you want. But if you're the kind of family who doesn't want that and doesn't want to do uh, breast re uh, 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 a mastectomy effectively on a girl to make her a boy and other things or to uh, amputate the male anatomy, then you should be able to do that too. It's amazing to this family that they can tell their minor children no tattoo, no dating, no sex, no being out after 10 o'clock, no nose ring. But the minute they say no sex change, and that didn't even happen here, they didn't even know their child was supposed to be wanting to be a girl. But if that were the case, they're not allowed to tell their child, you can do what you want when you're an adult, but under my roof and our rules and our caring love for you, our love for you causes us to try to help you understand why you may feel this way. Parents should have freedom. This is the United States of America. There are parental rights statutes in some states. There's a federal constitution. Parents are to care for their children. And this is a Christian radio station. Parents generally believe they should raise their kids in the way of the Lord, whatever they believe that to be. So I suppose that Child Protective Services may not agree with that. Certainly Washington Children's Hospital has been accused at the D.C. Office of Human Rights of... Uh, totally abrogating that freedom. But more than that, um, being that they're not state actors, just the comments that were made in this, according to the family and the complainants, it's 11 page single spaced report on, Was on Washington Children's National Medical Center. It was very coercive over there, uh, having them to uh, uh, try to make all kinds of uh, changes in their beliefs and their beliefs that were shared by the boy who won the Bible Bee Bowl, the Bible Bowl. So um, they've got some explaining to do, but I know the law, and I've been to the D.C. Office of Human Rights for Religious Discrimination and won, um, and a minister at my own church hired me at the Shiloh Baptist Church, and we beat them twice on religious freedom for barring a Bible study at a retirement home. So um, that's public record. The Office of Human Rights publicized that, what we had to do over there, and Marion Barry got involved. Marion Barry was a city councilman who oversaw the Office of Human Rights and made sure that they were following the law because sometimes they miss it. So I hope in this case, for this family, they, they do not. Thank you, caller.